Hey, 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 everybody, it's Kaylin Shaner, and welcome back to my channel. And I am back with another Pokemon Leaf Green Let's Play. Now, I actually did play this with Andrew, but a bunch of my footage got lost recently, and I'm having to re record over a lot of it with voiceovers. Um, and he actually has a very busy schedule with work and such, so I will be re recording over it by myself this time. I am so sorry, but the next time we play, he will definitely be there and we should have it all fixed. And if you want to see him again, and I'm sure you do, just stick around. So we're getting ready to play, and I kind of thought I'd already pressed start, but apparently not. <laughs> there we go. The save file is corrupted. Um, I don't, I don't remember anything about that, but uh, so in Pallet Town, I obtained the map. Apparently. And then I started walking around. <laughs> um, I obtained the Teachy TV, which I remember literally nothing about. Uh, I don't even know if I use it, to be honest. I met Gary and took on Squirtle. Um, I managed to get out of the Viridian Forest after killing the one and only Pikachu that I found. Go me. And then I stood there forever whilst saving, I think. And here is where we pick back up. So yeah, if you haven't seen the previous video, go and check that out. It is another voiceover, but I killed Pikachu. I killed the one and only Pikachu I found, and it was super shocking and super sad and absolutely hilarious, so <laughs> go check that out. Um, and I made it through the forest without finding a single other Pikachu, and, uh, and now I'm, I'm here in this place. Y'all are going to be super mad at me because I don't remember what this place is called. Because <laughs> it's been so much time between recording the video and doing the voiceover. Okay, I'm in Pewter City! I'm in Pewter City! You guys cannot be mad at me because now I know that I am in Pewter City. Um, and apparently I'm stopping to smell the roses. Very, very pretty flowers. Beautiful flowers. Maybe I'll turn into a Disney princess and start singing to them or something. So it looks like I'm just uh, walking around, trying to and standing, just randomly. St I would be so creepy if uh, if I were one of the townspeople and I walked past K Ray doing this. Like, what you doing, girl? What, why are you just standing there, staring off into space? You're super weird. I think I need to buy some pokeballs. I think is what I need to do. Yeah, buying some pokeballs. Go me. I don't know if I get anything else, but I definitely buy at least ten Pokeballs. I was not expecting that. I bought... Jesus. That is a lot of... Pokebucks? I don't know what they're called. Oh my god. It probably just said... It probably literally just, uh, just told me or something, and I, I don't remember. I didn't see it. Oh, the internet's gonna be so mad at me. Again, if you have not seen the previous episode, please go back and watch that, and I will explain why I know very little about Pokemon and have never played it. Um, there is a whole backstory to it, uh, so go check that out and stop being mad at me or yell at me in the comments, you know, either way. Um, I'm sorry, it's not my fault, blame my dad. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to call them Pokebucks for, uh, for the time being, should it come up again, and y'all can just be mad at at me for it. So I went through that uh, that long journey through the forest and now I have to heal up all my Pokemon. That'll take a few seconds. That actually was pretty fast. Cool. We hope to see you again. What a weird thing to say to somebody. Like, you're, you're literally leaving the hospital, and they're like, We hope to see you again. Go go make all of your Pokemon paint. Don't take good care of them at all. And come back and see us. I'm like, alright, creepy person. 
Oh, I'm going to a gym. Guys, I'm going to a gym. I don't remember if this is my first gym. I genuinely don't know. Comment below if you have followed the series so far, and it is or is not my first gym, and get mad at me for not remembering. I'm no trainer, but I can advise you on how to win. Let me take you to the top. I don't remember what I say, like, at all. No! I said no, it's a free service! Let's get happening! I thought I said no. The first Pokemon out in a match is at the left of the Pokemon list. I thought I said no, guys. Wasn't the cursor over the no? What's going on? By changing the order of Pokemon, you may gain an advent an advantage. No, 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 can't talk. La di da di da. Try different orders to suit your. Yeah, I'm assuming that said personal style. I'm not sure. Ooh, stop right there, kid. You're ten thousand light years from facing Brock. Ooh, who's this Brock guy? Oh no. Oh no. Okay, we get to battle. Camper Liam would like to battle. I Camper Liam sent out Geodude. Hmm, well rock guy. Okay. So I send out Suko. I have no idea what fire types do against rock types. I think he's a rock type. I'm assuming he's a rock type, unless he's like a fighter type, but I feel like he's a rock type. I feel like that's a thing. Uh it's super effective. Apparently I'm doing good. Cool. His defenses rose. What shall uh, Zuko do next? Metal Claw. Aw, oh, it missed. Dang it. Use Tackle. Aw, oh, dang it. Zuko's my favorite, guys. Like, I don't know what other Pokemon I'll end up catching in the series. But, and like, if I'll love them more. But right now, Zuko is hardcore my favorite. He's my baby. I will level him up first every day, all day. And he must be protected at all costs. Camper Liam is about to use Sand True. Will K Ray change Pokemon? If K Ray does, it is because Andrew told her to. Because the, the Pokemon types were probably not good against each other, at least for me. I sent out Momo! So apparently, Andrew told me to switch. Um. Aww, Sandshrew's kinda cute. He's also one level higher than me. Yay. Kinda looks like a armadillo mated with a squirrel. But he's cute, and I like him. Okay, okay. Momo's getting some hits in. That... Okay, his accuracy fell, but it didn't hurt me, so cool. Hmm. What will Momo do? Everyone wants to know. Momo used low kick. Cool. He keeps doing that. I mean, I guess it'll make the battle longer, but it's not hurting me, so... Momo's attack missed, yeah. It's just gonna make it really hard to get hits in, make it just drag out forever. Ugh. Momo, you scratch! Yep. Yep, it missed again. Yay. He's just- oh man, at this point I would just switch him out. Like, if I were playing right now, I would just switch them out. And get someone whose accuracy isn't- oh! Oh, okay. Um, apparently past me is as smart as, uh, as present me. Cool. Okay, throw on in Radigan. Get him, Radigan. Get him. Well, crap. Doing, I mean, obviously, I knew he was gonna do the same thing. But, it still sucks. What you gonna do, friendo? Gosh. At least I have more health than he does now. But this battle's gonna take forever.
I think I'm already getting frustrated. Like, I'm taking a long time to decide what to do. Oh my gosh. Okay. There's just a whole lot of buffing and debuffing and, and just not much going on right now. It honestly kind of reminds me of uh, grinding in Dragon Quest VIII. I love that game, but oh my god. <laughs> grinding in that game is brutal. Absolutely brutal. That's why it takes so long to beat the game. Like, there's a lot of like movie clips and then story plots and such, but... Honestly, you just spend most of your time grinding in that game. I think it's worth it, but I would not blame anybody else if they were just sick of it and didn't want to play anymore. And that's kind of what this feels like. Come on, get him! Oh, so close. So close. Come on. I feel like a sports announcer, but like a really, really calm, chill one. <laughs> Come on! Yes! Got him! Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I feel like there's gonna be another one. I'm not really sure though. Player defeated Camper Liam. Nope. Darn. Light years isn't time, it measures distance. Is he saying that to me or to. Okay, we really got 220 Pokebucks for winning. Someone's gonna be so mad. Okay, okay, so I beat Camper Liam. So you're here. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's gym leader. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all the rock type. Wahaha! You're going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to the challenge. Fine then, show me your best. So, uh... Yeah. At the risk of literally never getting monetized ever, um... Can I just comment that, uh... Those, th th those rock hard statements are, uh... Yeah, obvious joke is obvious. Go, Zuko! Okay, so... Same thing as last time. I'm didn't pay attention last time because I suck, but I'm assuming that uh, this Geodude's level is higher than Camper Liam's Geodude's level. Oh! Dang! Go me! Or go Zuko, I guess. Okay, so it looks like it's gonna be a little neck and neckish. Um, I'm definitely losing health. But he's losing it. He was previously losing it faster than I was. So, okay, there's that. Okay, okay. Back on even footing a little bit. Zuko used Metal Claw! Yay! It's super effective! Oh, how is he- How is he not fainted? How is he- I can't even see the red! I mean, maybe if uh, this was blown up on my screen a little bigger, but I just cannot see any life at all. Okay, clear- He's, he's got to be gone now. He's gotta be gone. Okay, he's gone. Like, what? What even just happened? I guess they do have little numbers on the side, or like below, uh, on the side, below the thing. I should have paid attention to that. I was just looking at the bar. It's like, where even is the red? Will Kira change Pokemon? Yeah, if Andrew tells me to. Let's see what we pick here. Okay, switch it. No. I'm switching back to Momo? What? The Momo's at not even half health. A third health. What am I doing? Am I just sacrificing him? 
Am I, am I literally just like, here, kill my, po make my Pokemon faint. Okay, yeah, he's, he's about gone. He, he got in a, a good hit on Onyx, though. Yeah, I fainted. Figured that was gonna happen. Why would I switch Pokemon? Maybe I accidentally hit the button and was just like, well, since I'm here on this screen, yeah, that must be what happened because I'm about to send Zuko out. Like, what? Okay, so I just sacrificed Momo for no reason. Zuko's at half health. I mean, he looks like he's good against rock types. This metal cloth thing seems to be working really well. Like, really, really well. But why would I switch him out in the first place? I don't even know. Oh, that, that don't look good. Aw, oh, crap! Dang it! Dang it! Oh, my Zuko baby! No! Okay, who are we calling in next? We got Radigan, Popeye, Low Fat, and Iggy. Check out my uh, my last video, the the previous episode, if you want to find out why I named them that, because we definitely go over it. There's definite reasons. Who am I gonna send out? Are they gonna be right again? He's my highest level. Am I just sacrificing them, or is this type particularly good against rock types? It didn't even look like I can do much. Level 4 against a level 14. What am I doing? What even am I doing? Did it work? No. Okay, clearly that was a debuff kind of thing. Tackle him, I guess. Oh crap. Oh no. No. <laughs> I don't know why I even did that. Why? I just sacrificed low fat. Why? Oh my god, I'm not doing good, guys. I think I'm gonna get my butt kicked. I think it's all over for me. Why am I not sending in Popeye or Radigan? They must not be good against rock types. There must be a reason, like, Andrew... Andrew was sitting right there. He had to tell me that what I was doing was either stupid or, like, my only option. There has to be a reason, and nope, you're, yep, yeah, bye. Just sacrificing them. Why? I'm sorry, guys, if this is triggering you as much as it is me. Like, this is just annoying. And I mean trigger in, like, the sort of sarcastic millennial sense, not in the actual trigger sense. So please, please don't tear me to shreds in the comments, because as a person with actual mental health triggers, like... I, I get it. Those are those are real things, but I, I sort of just mean it like the pop culture way. But yeah, okay. So Popeye's gone. Clearly, clearly that type doesn't do good against rock types. I guess is because he's a lot higher level than Ag or Lofat. Radigan's level nine, but I would have I would have called him in earlier if he did any good. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's bad. Oh, he also doesn't have a number under his health bar, it's just me, so... Oh, man. This is bad. This is soups bad. Crap. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna get my butt kicked. I think this is my last Pokemon. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to grind or something, or just get really, really lucky next time. Oh, I have... Oh... I have one left. Nope. And it's gone. K Ray is out of usable Pokemon. K Ray sucks. Player lost against Leader Brock. Go me! Yay! Aw oh, man. K Ray whited out. I, I don't. K Ray put. K Ray did the thing with the stuffs and the words that flashed up on the screen way too fast for her to read them in retrospect. That's a thing that K Ray did. Okay, so they're healed and in perfect health. I feel like it's grinding time. We should buy some potions. Yeah, the field is not really my issue here, lady. 
kind of crap. Wait, was that the menu or did Yeah, that must have been the menu. I clicked the menu instead of talking to her, which is what I wanted to do. I just I assume that since something immediately popped up while I was still facing her, it's like, ah, I must have accidentally hit the dialogue button. But nope, I did what I wanted to do. Yeah, the field? I don't remember having this much issue in the field. I just really got my butt handed to me by, by Brock. So I guess we venture out to the- what are you doing? Don't go back. I go up. No bad, K Ray. No, go back into the forest. Go grind. Go bad. What am I doing? What am I doing? Ah! No! Guys, I'm sorry that you have to watch this slaughter all over again. Maybe it'll be better? Maybe? Yeah, yeah. Rehashing all of the rock hard, raunchy jokes. Yeah, alright, alright. I will. Even though I did nothing to make this at all better, I am going to beat you. That was really lame. That was extra lame. Because I wanted to cuss, and then I decided, nah, I probably shouldn't do that on this channel. And so I paused, and then made it even more weird and lame. Sorry about that. Insert curse word here. Did that what? What? Heavens to Beatrice. Gotta love them critical hits. Except, you know, when it's against the one and only Pikachu I've ever wanted. Or come across and therefore wanted. That also came out. Guys, don't listen to me. Go watch another video. <laughs> My voiceovers in this are trash. Why even are you here? Like, why even? Okay, so I got super lucky against the last dude. Literally, literally the last Geo dude. But um, am I gonna get as lucky this time? Ooh, I don't know, man. I, ooh, is he gone or is it doing that little? No, oh, it didn't do the teeny tiny sliver that I can't even see thing. Yes, yes, we got even farther. I don't know how many guys this guy. Oh, I it's just two. I keep thinking it's going to be three, but it's just two. As proof of your victory, I confer on you this, the official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. I got a badge! Go me! I don't know what was different that time, but I just stomped him. Like, he, he, uh... He handed it to me last time, but nope, I just went in and I didn't even switch Pokemon. Not a single one of my Pokemon fainted. I just must have got really unlucky. Like, that was crazy. Pokemon must, must know stuff and things, and I got monies. Cool. Wait, take this with you. K-Ray received TM39 from Brock. K-Ray put the TM39 in the TM case. What, what is... What is TM? What is TM39? A TM. Technical machine. Contains a technique. Blah, blah, blah. Using ATM teaches a Pokemon to move. ATM is good. Oh my god. When you use one, pick the Pokemon carefully. Contains Rock Tomb. Hulls Boulder sort of lowers the speed. <laughs> okay, so that was a lot of dialogue that I just skipped through really freaking fast. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> but sorry, I got a, a, a technical thing. Machine? Was it machine or manual? I feel like it should be manual, but I think it's a machine. Yeah, yell at me in the comments. I feel like I, I definitely say that a lot in these videos. <laughs> what am I doing now? Fifty pokey dollars, pokey bucks, per child's ticket. Well, I guess I am the child in this universe. Would you like to come in? Sure, where am I? Oh, I think this is the museum? Is there a museum here? It looks like a museum. Yeah, I think I'm just going around. I'm like, hey, let's check this out. Aerodactyl fossil. A primitive and rare Pokemon. That looks cool AF. That is awesome. I love museums in real life. Kabutops fossil. A primitive and rare Pokemon. Am I saying that right? Kabu Kabutops? Kabutops? I should be grateful for my long life. Yeah, probably. 
for a reason or not. Never did I think I would get to see the bones of a dragon. That mean cool. I'm not sure what that has to do with your long life. Like space shuttle. Wait, is that it? Is that space shuttle. Like if you were waiting to see the bones of a dragon, that presumably means that it still had to rot and become bones. A meteorite that fell on Mount Moon. It is thought to be a moonstone. Ooh, that sounds cool. So, like, if you're waiting for it to rot and turn into just bones and, like, dry out so you can see the bones of a dragon. A meteorite. Yeah, okay. Same thing. Um, I feel like you would be alive to see the actual dragon it came from, which is way cooler. July 20th, 1969. Okay. Humankind first set foot on the moon that day. I bought a color TV just so I could watch that news. That honestly sounds like a story my dad would tell me. Because my, my dad's like... My older brother is like 35 or 36. I can't remember which. But uh, so my, my dad is... Uh, he had me late in life. Like my parents just in general did. So my dad is old enough to have watched like cool stuff like that on TV when he was a kid. This month we're running a space exhibit, clearly. Is that, is that it? Can we go now? Cool. This would be really cool though to see in real life. Yeah, a Pikachu soon, I promise. Ah, I feel like I am missing some stuff. Let's talk to you. I want a Pikachu. Me too, kid. It's so cute. I asked my daddy to catch me one. Sorry, kid. I killed it. It's dead. And then he says the stuff that we read first, which we obviously weren't supposed to. Did I not talk to him? Moonstone, huh? What's so special about it? Looks like an ordinary rock to me. Why would I not? Why am I going back and forth? Why wouldn't I go to, like, old man, boy, doctor dude, pink haired girl, and then dad? Like, what? I think that's probably all there is to see here. Yeah, I don't see anything else. Oh, there's another door, though. That I cannot get into, which is redonkulous. Oh, wait, it's up there. I gotta be able to get in there somehow. Like, where even do I go? She's clearly trying to figure it out. Or not. No, she, nope. I don't care. Screw this, I'm going home. <laughs> My, yeah, I'm healing up my Pokemans. I think there's just one little bit left we have to get to. I'm really annoyed by that door, though. Can I just say to the museum that I can't get into? Like, how do you even get there? And because I'm not playing anymore, I'm, I'm doing a voiceover, I can't make her go and try and figure it out like maybe Andrew told me that I just I couldn't so like I just gave up but I, I really want to know where that door is like I want to go but uh yeah so I'm just there she goes just a walking down the street okay Ray I'm glad I caught up to you I'm Professor Oak's aide hey aide I've been asked to deliver this, so here you go. What is that? I think I know what it is. K-Ray received the running shoes from the aide. K-Ray switched the shoes with the running shoes. Press the B button to run, but only where there's room to run. Well, I must be going back to the lab. Bye-bye. Andrew was so psyched. He was so annoyed watching me. There's a letter attached. And dear K-Ray... Here is a pair of running shoes for my beloved challenger. Cool. Remember, I'll always cheer for you. Don't ever give up. From Mom. Oh, I totally thought it was from the doctor. Or Professor. Professor. I'm sorry, Professor. I take it back. I'm sorry. Professor. Totally thought that was from, from the pro Professor. And I'm like... I'll always be cheering for you. This is coming from the same guy who doesn't even, like, remember his grandson, if I remember correctly. Oh, hey. Excuse me. You looked at me, didn't you? No. Nope. 
Nope. Don't know what. What? What? Seriously, just like. Last Janice would like to battle. Last Janice sent out Pidgey. Like, what even? I just looked at her. And she's like, Excuse me, you looked at me, didn't you? Now die! Attack! Like, just what? But, uh, yeah, so Andrew was super annoyed watching me play this first part of the game and not having the running shoes. And he's like, Oh, I just want you to go fast. I'm like, I don't even know what going fast feels like. Like, I have nothing to compare it to. So I don't know to look forward to it or to be annoyed when I don't have it. Like, this is just the speed at which I walk at the moment in this game. Like, but oh man, he was he was so annoyed. He's like, he was so excited when I got those. Okay, so, Bo oh, Pidgey fainted. Cool. XP. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Cool. Went up a level. Nice. Last Janice is about to use Pidgey. Didn't she just... Well, K-Ray change Pokemon? Why? I, I guess? Cool. I must have accidentally hit it. I probably accidentally hit it. Nope. Uh, looks like I'm switching anyway. Alrighty. Cool. I don't know why, but okay. Last Janice sent out Pidgey. She just sent a Pidgey, right? Yeah, alright, whatever. Just be a one trick pony. At least this should go down easy. Relatively, I mean, we're the same level? I don't know. Why would I get rid of- I think I just wanted to get the other ones, like, leveled. Like, I, I just wanted to get them some action. Seems to be going- oh. Yeah, take it back. I take it all back. Wait. Yes! Dun dun dun! dun. Cool. I did the thing with the stuffs. Yeah, I think I was just going to explore and this lady just freaking ambushed me. You are mean, lady! Little girl! Well, at least I got that. Little freaking girl, you aggressive little brat. Like, just no. I think I'm just, like, heading back, like, nope, I'm done with this gameplay, like, I'm done with this let's play. Like, oh, 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 okay, there I go. Cool. Run, 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 run. Run, run, hurry, hurry, run, run, hurry, hurry. If you don't understand that reference, that is actually from Star Tropics. It is an awesome game. I'm pretty sure for the original Nintendo. I don't think it's for the Super Nintendo. I think it's for the OG Nintendo. So uh, go check that out because this is an awesome game. I grew up on the game and I love it. But uh, yeah, now that I've got the running shoes and I got attacked by a little girl for some stupid reason. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of this Let's Play. Let's, let's play. Let's play. And uh, if you're liking this series, please go check out the other videos so you're all caught up. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And I will see you in another video.